Hi guys, I'm Benjamin from the Urban Sports League and the new season is just around the corner. So I'm here with Lucho. Hi guys, how are you? And we're here to have a little chat with you about the teams that you're going to be coming up against this year, some players to watch out for and some other key information uh, to help you get to know the teams around you in the league. So we're beginning with Division 4. Uh, Lucha, what can you tell us about Division 4? I think it's uh, maybe the, 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 the easiest one, but this is what you think. You say, OK, you don't have winners because uh, I think right now in the 4th Division nobody won. In the last two seasons, nobody won. But you have uh, teams like, for example, Ambos. They were terrible at the beginning, I must admit it, but uh, they finished in the, uh, playing for the semi-finals. Uh, also, Omid, the, the, the top striker for Ambos, uh, won the, as a top striker of the league. So you should be, take care of them. And also you have teams, for example, like Customer Alliance. They never won, or this is what I think, but they never won. But they are like super crazy. They play really good. Uh, they have like a super French style. Uh, the keeper, uh, Bachtan, it's, it's crazy. Uh, he's like all the time like giving energy to the team. Uh, the players, they run all the time. They were also playing in a really tough season last, uh, in the last season. So also you have, for example, Tom Tom. Uh, they have like uh, the half of the season they are like in the bottom, and then they 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 they, they born again like the Phoenix. You know, it's like <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, also teams, for example, like uh, Wafer. Uh, in the they, they 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 are like always in the semi-finals. The last season, in the winter season, in soccer world, they were, uh, I, I am not sure, but they, 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 lost, they lost the final. So, I think it's going to be like super, super tight. Yeah, I think there's a lot of teams in Division 4 that have really improved a lot. Uh, Amboss, the doctors, you know, if you get injured on the pitch, they're going to come sort you out. Call Amboss. <laughs> <laughs> Call Amboss. Um, they're good. Kayak also, the bright orange shirts, you can see them coming from a mile away. Uh, they've also improved a lot as we watched them last season and, and some of these teams, you know, you maybe you wouldn't have your money on them at the beginning of last season, but they came close to the playoffs. They definitely came close. So uh, I think it's going to be it's going to be an interesting season in Division 4 for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay guys, it's time to talk about the third division. So this is a, a pretty a pretty mixed league of some teams that have had big results in the past couple of seasons. One of the teams, MacFit. Uh, they won the last uh, the last season in the fifth division in, at Post Stadium. They, they were a surprise, I must admit. They, they, got, they, they, they put Idealo out. It was a team that was playing here before and it was like really strong and they, they put them out and uh, they won the final. But uh, I don't know, because here you have teams like November. They were playing last in the last season also in the third one. They finish in the third position, I think. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, teams like Samap or Vista Print, the classical. It's the classical. Samap versus Vista Print is like Barcelona versus Real Madrid. Uh, it's like crazy. They, it's it's a really classical, uh, and these teams are really really strong. Samap, for me, I think is the strongest team here in the in this division. If they continue with the same team. Yeah. I think they are like uh, the strongest. Yeah, they're also a team that are very, very into their post-match analysis. They like looking at the videos, deconstructing them, looking at their weaknesses and working on them. And they really improved right into the playoffs, didn't they? I think uh, they'll definitely be a team to watch out for this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, I like so much SoundCloud. Uh, SoundCloud is a team that uh, in the last seasons, they always start at the bottom. It's, that's true, they always are at the bottom, uh, but uh, I don't know how they make it, but uh, they always finish in there, they survive. They are like super fighters, they have a, a really, really, really cool striker, uh, Nick Fox. Uh, amazing, amazing guy, super dangerous, super, if, if he catch the ball, he gonna score it. Uh, I think uh, the only reason that they, they are always in the bottom is like because they have a, a small team, they don't have too many players, so that's the only reason. Because in the second half they get tired and uh, they receive like a, a, a waterfall of goals, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, it's that defence, that leaky SoundCloud defence. We know about their power up front, but it's the defence which they need to work on this season if they want to mount a, a challenge for the title, for sure. Yeah. Uh, who do you think is going to be the, the winner of this season? 
you know, I really like November. Um, things can change very quickly in the Urban Sports League. Last season they were they were having a great run. They were really close to the top almost the whole way through. But then in the playoffs, you know, one bad game and they went out. But this season, you know, if they can keep it tight to the final whistle, I think uh, the third division they could be could be contenders for sure. Okay, guys, it's time to talk about Division Two, and this is a very hot division, right, Lucho? We got a lot of winners in here. Yeah, I don't know. Second division, uh, it's it's crazy, <laughs> really, really crazy. Uh, you have, uh, for example, Al Chast. They won the season before against Honeypot uh, and Honeypot they, they lose in the penalties was crazy <laughs> was super crazy uh, then you have for example uh, Le Vagon they also won the season before I think in the fifth division but they were so, super 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 good they, they were playing last season in the fourth division they had really really crazy strikers they had Kaylee the reason that we call them like the unstoppable train, Kaylin is crazy, and they have Luca Bazooka. Uh, I, he hates to, to be called like Luca Bazooka, but uh, man, uh, he has a bazooka in his foot. That's his name, you know. Like he can't uh, he can't hide away from from his nature. And Luca Bazooka is is what he's known for, famously all around urban sports. Yes. I just wanted to point out as well that Honeypot they have one of our one of our favorite players, the goalkeeper, uh, Olu. <laughs> The keeper who make it without the gloves. Another player that uh, it's like crazy, crazy, crazy good in in, uh, in Honeypot. They had a really, really good uh, good guys. They are like a really good team. But there's one that one player I I, I think it's amazing. Uh, his name is Kado. So guys, uh, <laughs> be careful with that guy. He can shoot from everywhere and he gonna put it in the angle. Yeah, that's true. He's got an engine on him. That guy does not stop running. There's another teams that are really, really, really dangerous. Uh, for example, Delivery Hero, they finished in the first position last season, but they, they, they lost in the semifinals. That was a surprise. They, I think they lost against Sonnen. I am not sure, but uh, that was a really, really surprise. Uh, and then uh, another, another team that I think that is like, you need to take care of, uh, it's get your guy. Get your guy. Uh, they didn't won in the season before, but they won last season. Uh, but I think the the the, the biggest strengths uh, they have is are the Corioto brothers, Stefano uh, and Giancarlo. Uh, Giancarlo won uh, in the season before as a top striker, and the last season was uh, Stefano. I don't know what they have in the blood, but uh, I think there's something like genetic there, or I don't know. Yeah, they have good genes. They're kind of like Batman and Robin, but brothers. If, if you need to, to, to put your money for a team, which team is your, your candidate to win it? I'm going to put my money on the bankers of N26. Yeah, I think if they have a full squad, they have a couple of star players. I think they can they can really have a good season if, if they bring it all together. And last year they were unlucky not to get through in the second division. But this year, I think uh, N26, they're my, my secret tips for the season. Something I, I didn't say was like, for example, in Adjust, you have uh, also also a great team. Uh, you have Pierre, mm. he was the top, stri the top striker last season. Also in the season before was uh, Kevin who was uh, uh, sadly injured uh, in the last season. I think that's that's one of the main reasons that they didn't want. They have uh, uh, Munib, it's a crazy player, crazy player. Maria is everywhere. It's like uh, your shadow, so. Okay, guys, the final league, Division 1. Now, this is a very naughty league. A very, <laughs> a very naughty league. This is a league that you, you don't want to... You know, you it's not the season for me. <laughs> I should be playing in the fourth, I think. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, or just the crossbar challenge. Maybe not even. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the crossbar challenge. <laughs> but uh, yeah, League One. This is a, a league full of, of winners. We've got the winners of Division Two last season. Nike. They were super strong, super strong, really strong. A lot of squad depth. They have good supporters. A lot of atmosphere on the side of the park. It can be pretty terrifying at times playing against them. Um, yeah, I've got some money on them having a good season. What do you think, Lucha? 
No, Nike, uh, Nike was crazy. Uh, I don't have the names in my head of Nike because like uh, they were, everyone were good. You know, they were like a really, really, really professional team. And uh, nobody wanted to play with them because they are like, they were like crazy. And uh, I think they're gonna come uh, with the same squad for this season, so uh, I think nobody in the in the first division already play with a team like that because uh, the first division is crazy, it's crazily hard. You have teams like Yodel, they are like always playing the finals. I think they never they never won, but they are always there. They have crazy strikers like Marco. He's the Messi we have in the Urban Sports League for sure. But uh, also, it's like um, you have winners like One Football, for example. The crazy Italians, super crazy Italian style. They play like to enter to the defense. It's like you need to break a leg because it's impossible to enter. They are crazy. They defend with everything. Uh, and also, they won in the season before. I think they won the third division and they jumped to the first one. Maybe it was so hard because they, they lost a lot, a lot of players in the, in the way. But uh, they are like super strong also. Uh, and then you have, for example, Coca-Cola. What do you think about Coca-Cola, man? Mm. Well, they were the surprise winners last season, weren't they? They uh, started the season a bit slower than, than uh, Yodel and uh, Meltwater. But they really picked it up at the end. By the time the playoffs came, they really turned it on. It was, it was fire from them. And they had one of the league's top scorers as well, right? You want to tell us a bit about him? Yeah, uh, they have Richard. Uh, a crazy, crazy, crazy striker. Uh, but uh, the thing with Coca-Cola was that last season they were a, a, a very good team. Uh, they wasn't uh, an individuality. They, they, they had a really strong team. And this is the reason that they defeated Mayweather at the final. Because Mayweather, <laughs> if you need to choose a team, <laughs> Mayweather for sure. They won the last two uh, seasons. And also they won uh, the, or sorry, the last two seasons before. Sorry, yeah, yeah. the last two seasons before. Last season was for Coca-Cola. But also last season they won uh, the Summer Cup against Yodel. And uh, I don't know what happened in the final, but I think uh, the only reason that Coca-Cola won against Mayweather was because they had a... In, the, in that game, Coca-Cola had a better team uh, in cooperation with Mayweather. Maybe they won revenge because they, they were like the kings and now they don't have the, the crown. Maybe they want it again. It's true, you know, you take the kings off their throne, they're going to be pretty mad. They're going to want it back. They're coming back with dragons this season, that's for sure. And don't forget, we have again uh, uh, Footprint is back. And uh, they were like unstoppable. Unstoppable in the season before. They were the... They won, I don't remember against who. They won the final and uh, when they were playing uh, during the season, they say you, you you really know it that they're gonna make it. Also talking about surprises, we have Uplift. Uh, Uplift, it's a team. Uh, I don't know what happened in the last season, but the season before they were, uh, they, I think they didn't until the finals, and they lost the final. I don't, I'm not sure, but they had players like Clemente, uh, that is like amazing. Clemente is uh, he's like. Uh, you look him and say, who's this guy? He plays football? Yes, <laughs> he plays, he plays. <laughs> it's very good, man, it's very good. And uh, the team is like, uh, I think the first division is the, the division with the, with the best teams, not because they won or they are, no, they, are, they play together, they, they know each other since a lot of time. Uh, so it's like, uh, it's a, it's a tough one. I don't like. I, I don't want to be like the the new the new guy in the town and come and say, okay, you're gonna play in the first division. Really, me? Okay. I don't want to be in that position, man. Not at all. Yeah, that's definitely a tough league. Like even to avoid relegation in the first division is a is a good season, I would say. That's the the strength and quality and depth that we have in there. Okay, guys. So that's it for Division Four. We've rounded off the teams now. We've given you some insights into the players. Now it's all about the season. It's just around the corner. We're going to find out what happens soon. Good luck to all of you. Yes. See you in the pitch, guys. Bye-bye.